So welcome back to one more video on design of reinforced concrete structures using working stress method and limit state method. We are solving numerical example on design of footing. In this video you will learn how to decide the reinforcement, how to check for shear development length and reinforcement details. We are designing isolated footing for the column which is subjected to concentrated point load of 600 kN. So these are the details of the column for which we are designing the footing. The size of column is 300 mm by 300 mm, load on column is 600 kN. Same bearing capacity of soil is 180 kN per meter square and we are using M20 concrete and FE415 steel. So, so far we have seen in first video how to decide the size of footing and how to calculate upward pressure intensity of soil on the footing. Then in second video we have decided the depth of the footing based on three criteria that is one way shear, two way shear and maximum ultimate moment. Now in this video we are going to calculate the reinforcement. We will check for minimum reinforcement, check for shear. We will calculate development length and then finally reinforcement detailing. I hope you will find this video useful. To understand today's video, we will need this data from our previous videos. We have already provided the size of footing 2 meter by 2 meter, the depth of footing 360 millimeter. We have assumed the cover of 70 millimeter. So overall depth is 430 millimeter and we have calculated the maximum bending moment at critical section and we have calculated upward pressure intensity of soil on that is uh, 0.225 Newton per millimeter square. So we will need this data for further calculations. So next step is calculation of reinforcement in footing that means to calculate area of steel on the basis of maximum bending moment, check the calculated steel for minimum requirement and to decide the spacing of bars. In this case, we calculate number of bars. So for that, we will use this formula for calculation of main reinforcement and after calculating AST, we will check for minimum reinforcement. If it is Fe250 steel, then it is 0.15% of B into D. And for other steels, it is 0.12% of B into D. While calculating reinforcement, you should remember that in AST formula, there is effective depth, whereas for minimum AST formula, there is overall depth. So if we substitute all the required values in the formula, we get area of steel is equal to 1300 millimeter square and minimum steel as 1008 millimeter square. So 1300 millimeter square is more than minimum reinforcement. Therefore, we will provide AST is equal to 1300 millimeter square. In putting, we calculate number of bars using this formula. Here I have assumed diameter of bar as 12 millimeter. So area of one bar is pi by 4 d square that is 113 millimeter square and therefore using the above formula we get number of bars 1300 is AST which we have calculated divided by 113 that is 11.5. So we will provide 12 bars of 12 millimeter diameter. Now AST required is 1300 millimeter square whereas we have provided total AST as 1356 millimeter square. How we get 1356? It is 12 number of bars multiplied by area of one bar. So it is 1356 millimeter square. So this is how we calculate or decide the number of bars in footing. These 12 bars are to be provided in both the directions. Next step is check for shear. Check for shear is very important step in design of footing 
because initially we have calculated depth on the basis of one way shear in which we have assumed percentage of steel that was approximate percentage of steel now we have actually calculated the area of steel we will calculate percentage of steel and then we will check whether it is safe or not now let us see how to check the footing for shear we have already calculated area of steel that is 1356 mm square so to check the footing for shear first of all you have to calculate what is the actual shear stress at critical section which is denoted by tau v after that we will calculate the permissible shear stress that concrete can take which is denoted by tau c and uh, this tau c is calculated from the is code on the basis of percentage of steel provided and for safe design the shear carrying capacity of concrete should be obviously more than actual shear stress at critical section to check the footing for shear first of all we have to calculate actual shear force at critical section now here in footing in one way shear the critical section is at distance d from the face of the column this part i have already explained in previous video so for more detail we, you can watch that previous video here i am only giving the steps just for your reference so here first of all we have calculated upward pressure intensity and then design shear force is equal to pressure intensity multiplied by shaded area we get the actual shear force at critical section so we have derived this formula in previous video so in this formula if you substitute the value of effective depth you will get actual shear force at critical section and from that then we will calculate what is the actual shear stress at critical section to calculate actual shear stress at critical section first of all we have to calculate actual shear force this formula we have already derived so substitute the value of effective depth as 360 mm we get actual shear force as 220500 kN at critical section after that we calculate actual shear stress you know that stress is equal to force upon area so using this area is b into d d is effective depth so we will get actual shear stress at 0.306 newton per mm square after calculating actual shear stress at critical section we have to check that whether this actual shear stress is less than the permissible capacity of concrete or not so for that we will calculate the shear stress in concrete so let us see how to calculate shear stress in concrete to calculate permissible shear stress in concrete we have to refer table number 19 on page number 73 of is 456 so for which we will need percentage of steel so here we have provided total area of steel as 1356 mm square so first of all we will calculate percentage of steel so percentage of steel we calculate using this formula we divide the total area provided by area of critical section that is b into d so we get percentage of steel as 0.1883% so this value of 0.1883 if you refer is code table number 19 on page number 73 this value is in between 0.15 and 0.25 so we have to interpolate to calculate tau c for 0.1883 so this is how we can interpolate for that value so we get tau c as 0.3106 newton per millimeter square so this is the permissible capacity of concrete in this case so to check this footing for shear first of all we have calculated what is the actual shear stress at critical section which was 0.306 newton per millimeter square then we have calculated permissible shear stress in concrete which is 0.3106 newton per millimeter square so for safe design tau c must be greater than actual shear stress at critical section therefore this design is safe in shear 
now the last step is check for development length let us see how to check it first of all let us understand what is mean by check for development length in your is code is 456 on page number 42 the formula to calculate development length is given so if you calculate the development length using this formula we have to check whether the length available in the footing is more than this development length excluding the end cover of 75 millimeter so first we calculate the development length using formula then we calculate what is the length available after this phase of the column excluding this end cover if this length available is more than the length calculated using this formula then it is ok so let us check here so for that first of all you have to calculate tau bd using the table 26.2.1.1 here the value given is 1.2 we multiply it by 1.6 because it is a tor steel for tor steel we have to increase this value by 60 percent after that we substitute all this in this formula here sigma s means 0 0.87 into 415 fe 415 is the grade of steel and then we substitute here for tau bd so instead of using formula if you have the concrete m20 and steel fe 415 you can directly calculate effective sorry development length as 47 times diameter of bar so if you calculate 47 multiplied by diameter of bar that is 12 you will get same answer so if you calculate it you will get 564.14 millimeter now this calculated value should be less than the value available uh, from the face of the column so what is the length available from the face of the column so length available is total length which is 2 meter minus the width of the column divided by 2 so that we get the projection on one side deduct the end cover 75 millimeter you will get what is the length available so here length available is 775 millimeter so length available is more than required development length therefore it is all right so this length available 775 millimeter this is greater than 564 millimeter that is development length therefore it is all right after designing any rcc structural element you have to show the details on the drawing so here i have drawn this drawing so size of footing is 2 meter by 2 meter then depth of footing is 0.43 meter then we have calculated 12 number of bars 12 millimeter diameter in both the direction so these are the bars in x direction and these are the bars in y direction now there is other way of drawing the plan instead of showing the mesh in plan you can also draw just representative 2 3 bars in each direction so these are the bars in x direction 12 bars of 12 millimeter diameter in x direction similarly 12 bars of 12 millimeter diameter in y direction in addition to this you have to show the column detailing on this cage so this is the reinforcement in column there are main bars and lateral ties now these main bars are taken inside the footing as shown in the figure so here this is the main bar and this is the lateral ties so this is how we show uh, the detailing of the reinforcement in case of design of footing so at last these are the 10 important steps in design of isolated footing i hope you will find this video useful this is all for today. Let us meet in next video. Thank you.